guess the first bit I did was to kind of rebuild the website, uh, what we had, uh, kind of upgrade then. And then the last maybe six or seven years working with the, what is now Salem Matters, which everybody has come to, to know and appreciate, hopefully, um, comes out every Wednesday morning, worked with Brian McFarland on that as a volunteer for a long time. I saw that as as part of my ministry, what I could give back to the Presbytery, especially in the last couple of years by necessity, we've gone to a lot more uh, online church. Using my uh, skills in that area with, uh, with more, especially smaller churches that don't have the resources that larger churches have, I'm kind of looking forward to to doing more of that. To me, it really is a ministry. Uh, you know, I think technology is a gift that we've been given to reach more people. Being good stewards, I think it's a, it's our responsibility to use the tools that we have to reach the, the most people. I was at Bethany and Graham, and, and yes, it's a smaller church, uh, limited funds, limited resources. But one thing I was really pleased with with Bethany was that they, they were very open to new things and open to, you know, I remember, I guess probably after the first couple of weeks that we were uh, online when we shut down in March of 2020, one of the elders said, we, we have to do this. We have to, even when we go back in person, we have to do this. If I could create a, a, a situation where if you're worshiping from home, you can get that same, as close to po- as possible, that same uh, worshipful experience, then yeah, then it was a success. We started those first couple of Sundays just on Facebook Live. Just used the camera, built-in camera on my laptop. One of the biggest issues that we found after a while was just the bandwidth of our Wi-Fi signal in the sanctuary. You know, we'd get lags, we'd get jumpy, you know, jumpy video. Sometimes Zoom would just cut out. Finally, we said, okay, let's let's spend a little bit of money and get the hardwired from the office into the sanctuary, to our console sanctuary. And that, that really helped. We eventually uh, invested in the Mevo camera. The neat thing about the Mevo is that it's like several cameras in, in one because you can have the your basic wide shot of, of everything. If the minister is speaking or somebody's reading, whoever's operating it from the iPad can just tap on that person's face and it'll zoom in to that person. Choir singing, you can go to the choir. Uh, we had to use the screen, so we found some software that could incorporate both the what was happening on the camera and what was happening on the screen. The final thing we did before I retired, software called BoxCast, they do all the streaming for you. I'm really excited to be able to come and visit churches and say, okay, you know, what's your what's your Wi-Fi situation? Uh, what's your hardware situation? What's your software situation? And either call the, the Presbytery office, um, and the number is right there on the website. Or email is another way, tech. T-E-C-H at SalemPresbytery.org. I, I look forward to, to being more of a, of a resource for the Presbytery.